friends. Today we are going to read one of my favorite stories. I read this with my class every year and not only is it just a silly story but it teaches a really good lesson um, about not being a braggy brown which means that you don't go around and tell people how great and wonderful and awesome you are. Um, and another reason I love this book is because it has the matching cartoon to go with it. So I will make sure to um, post the matching cartoon to go with the story after we read today's book, The Caterpillar and the Polylog, written and illustrated by Jack Kent. The Caterpillar and the Polylog. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not just a thing anybody can do. Beautiful butterfly. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. Oh, I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. What fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. Oh, I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. What am I going to turn into, the pollywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. Poor Pollywog. Here he finds out he's going to turn into something else, but he doesn't know what. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond for a second time and was going around again. When I grow up, she told the Pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. She's such a braggy brown. So am I, said the Pollywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the pollywog told her. Fish know things, they go to school. So the caterpillar cannot believe that the pollywog is gonna turn into something else too. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Well, then I guess I will too, said the pollywog. What fun. Let's do it together. So the caterpillar knows she's going to turn into, turn into a butterfly. So the pollywog says, well, if you're going to turn into a butterfly, I guess I'm going to turn into a butterfly too. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she ha would have rather done it herself. But I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a chrysalis. This is the tricky part, she said. So there she is spinning her chrysalis. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said, and when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in her chrysalis.
For a long time, nothing happened, but the Pollywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. What do you notice happening to the Pollywog as he watches and waits? You see his tail is getting shorter and oh, he's grown something for days and days and days. <gasps> At last there was activity in the chrysalis. The end of it opened and very slowly the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. Look at the tadpole, what happened to him? The pollywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. Oh, I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. So the pollywog didn't even notice he was changing. You are a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. Hmm, I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. Just then, a little caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. There's another caterpillar. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. And that's the end. Again, that's one of my favorite stories. Not only do we learn about how the caterpillar changes into a chrysalis and then um, hatches out as a butterfly, but we also learned that pollywogs slowly turn into frogs because their tails shorten, they grow back legs, and then they grow front legs. So that's just a neat story that shows you a way that two different animals can change into something else as they grow. Hope you guys have a great day.